do a little chant. What do we want? When do we want it? Why are there all these war protesters living outside our house? How am I supposed to explain this to my son? How am I supposed to explain this to my son? How am I supposed to explain this to my son? I think the thing that how disturbed she would get of just, you know, she's allowing the murder of people in Iraq and she gets disturbed by the, like a butterfly wing, you know, like it's right. What, what did she think it was like for the people in Iraq whose country was being destroyed? I ask myself that all the time. And I'm standing there, you know, little old me with my peace wreath. And I said, Nancy Pelosi, why won't you meet with us? And her reply was, I will never meet with you. Get away from my house, you nut. <laughs> and that's when I, I said to her, what about the, the homes of the people in Iraq? What about their homes that have bombs dropping on them? Uh, so, you know, she's bothered by us peacefully demonstrating outside. But what about all these people who are suffering? It looked like we were up there calling for impeachment. And it's really important for people to know that the Board of Supervisors of San Francisco had voted to impeach Cheney mm -hmm. and Bush. Bush and Cheney murdered people. Yeah. And yeah. Destroyed, you know, destroyed countries. It's really not enough to say that um, you voted against the war. I mean, you have to walk the talk. You have to really walk the talk, and that's not what Pelosi did. Camp Pelosi is where I learned about what Pelosi could do or not do in terms of war spending. It never occurred to me before that she didn't have to bring those funding bills to the floor. She had a choice to vote for war or not. They forced, the cops forced us. They said, you can stay here and camp out, but you have to have this little penned area on the street so we were in where cars would normally park and we're sleeping in there in the tent overnight and cars are going by and whizzing by and I was like Jesus like I feel like I'm risking my life lying in the street here with uh you know no barriers really to protect us other than those silly little police stanchions believe me it takes a lot of courage to stand up against a war when your country is all in favor of it in the case of the Iraq war, we actually went to Washington, D.C. We stood out in the cold for four months. We went in front of the Capitol. We protested in front of Nancy Pelosi's offices. We protested in front of her home in D.C., in front of her home in San Francisco, because we were so distraught about a war that shouldn't be taking place and all the people who were being killed. We got so much backlash. We got beaten up. We had to change our P.O. box. We got death threats constantly. And the same is happening today in Ukraine when we're considered Putin apologists just because we want to stop the killing. It takes a lot of courage to stand up against war.